gal by the name of May Lou. She shook it so much, she had the German flu. No matter how she done it, oh, no matter how she done it, well, no matter how she done it, she done it just the same. I recorded it all um, in another setting, oh, but okay. in the Honey Dripper area, yeah. uh, and he was not there. I thought when I pre-recorded all the music that I would just be pantomiming on camera, but then he said, no, uh, uh, Bertha May, you're going to have to sing. <laughs> I said, I have to sing, you know, to myself, I, I, how am I going to? just sit here and just sing. And then I had the problem of patting my feet, you know, because I'm accustomed to using my hands and patting my feet and moving my body. He said, you can't pat your feet. <laughs> you can hear it on the tape. And I said, oh, well, then I can't pat my feet. I'll have to remember. Because I do it unconsciously. Yeah. Uh, but he was so kind and so soft and so achieving in his own manner until he really spoiled me. If I have to ever work with another director um, and their temperament is not like his, it would probably make me a little uncomfortable because John made me very, very comfortable. He didn't allow me to ever feel that this was the first time I had done uh, a film of this type because I had done walk-ons and sitting yeah. in crowds and I have music in film but never sang yeah. live. I never sang live in a film before and never had talking lines uh, before. All of my acting was having fun and I didn't get paid for it. <laughs> Yes, she did.